Bob Saget, Zero to 60 stand-up special available right now on Amazon, iTunes, right here on DirecTV, other platforms. It's 150 platforms. It's like a subway. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, I like that. No, but it's the first time it's ever happened because normally Netflix or HBO is your jewel in the crown. Netflix, yes. of course, most not noticeably. But this is like everywhere. It's 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 Comcast. It's uh, right. everything you can't say because this building is. But, it, but it's uh, pretty fantastic all over the world. It had dropped last week. That's enough about my uh, testicle, but uh, <laughs> am I allowed to say that? You you most certainly can. Look, okay. uh, Bob, it's a free country. If you want to come on this it's show. It's a free country? If you want to Have talk, you watched the news? I have. If, <laughs> if you want to come on here and talk about your gonads, Bob Saget, you go on with your bad self. All right. Seriously. All right. So my gonads are available all over the world. <laughs> And they dropped last week, <laughs> and I can't wait till New Year's when they drop again. And they're they're special. They're like you're special. They're, they are. I have special just, going. They're, they're from zero to sixty. I have a little dreidel. I made it out of clay. It's <laughs> very good. And you also told me I just me, eliminated most of your audience. You, no, no, not at all. <laughs> we're they're they're are more people joining now because I'm here. They are mm. they are gonad loving people. Um, Is that true? And, yeah, I would. Uh, well, let's put it this way. I hope so. I hope so too. Um, I'm so, going to name a kid Nad, and then when he's running, you go go Nad. <laughs> And you motivate him. It's like run, Forrest. Nad Saget. Nad Saget. <laughs> wow. What do you think? I think he's a rapper. <laughs> I think he's going to do great. Nad Saget. Or a DJ. Just some DJs make $5 million. You know that? Go. There used to be a day if your kid was a DJ, if one of your three beautiful children yes. was a DJ, you'd go, oh, my God, my kid's a DJ. But it's like now it's like. Well, DJ Khaled it makes an absurd amount of money. Uh, Five million bucks your kid can make. So I'm saying live off your kids. <laughs> that's the idea yeah that's the idea one of my kids who is here in the back right now coop uh picked up a ball with his left hand and i'm like that means he might be able to pitch till he's 50 years old and there were Which four jokes big. in there that i'm not touching because it's your kid no. <laughs> give me one what's the one what's one of the four jokes you can't can't, can't. Because, really well sports is fascinating because whenever you say look it looks everybody's giving looks that's great but, <laughs> no but but sports is you know the old joke yakov Shmirnov. you know four balls you walk you know, he didn't understand the game. He goes, you walk, you walk proud. That's the guy who's, what a country, right? Yeah, what a country. In America, you have balls. In Russia, balls have you, yes. you know. But, <laughs> and um, now he's fixing an election, right? I don't know what he's doing. Isn't that what he's doing? I think he <laughs> makes vodka in his <laughs> bathtub. Just, actually, he's, I think he's fixing an election from Branson, Missouri. He, he left Branson. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah, he's back here in L.A., and he's a sweet guy. He's a sweet guy. Is he he's really? he's a see, Russian you can see, trust. See? <laughs> he's a Russian you can trust. I should have known you'd actually have known him. Well, I have Russian roots. Okay. Yeah, that's how I grow my beets. <laughs> no, do you have... <laughs> I was trying to think of a vegetable with roots. And all I could think of was a beet. Name a vegetable oh, with, a, a with a root. Carrots on carrot? the right? Carrot has uh, roots. Okay, potato, game's over. This underground. is the worst thing I ever said. <laughs> okay, this is what we do on your show. You opened up the door. Uh, carrot. Like, Bob, here's what you should do. Come Can on I my, pet the rabbit? Come Rich? on my show, talk about your gonads, and right. then vegetables with roots, and then we'll promote your special and send you on your way. That's what we talked about. I want to do we're more. The plan. No, we followed the plan so far here right now. But we're entertaining people right now. And that's, I'm coming on to be, well, I am. I, you you are. You're laughing. You you don't always laugh. You take sports very seriously. You know everything yes. about everything. I try. You always have. Yes, thanks, Bob. Um, and I'm trying to be a little silly right now mm -hmm. in my general demeanor on camera because I've been on this press tour for my special. Yes, you've been everywhere, by the way. I've been trying and different places, people's homes. I just show up on the roof. <laughs> but, but the key is to try to be silly and to try to entertain is what I've been, and you've always known that it's what I do anyway. Yeah. But but thoughtfully, we're all in a time where everything is hurting so bad that one of the re the relief valve is entertainment. It mm -hmm. is sports. It is it is a game, mm -hmm. and and uh, and that's what you're doing. You're doing something wonderful for people yeah. because because uh, every day you wake up and you read something. And you go, no. I know. Well, I mean, and, and, and now I see something <laughs> trending, I th uh, a name trending. I think the person's either dead or, or a sexual harasser or something like that. You just never know whose name is. No, oh, I thought you meant the same know. person. No. I got confused. <laughs> It's a dead just, sexual harasser. Well, that would now be the the, the most 20, uh, 2017 thing that would be out there. Oh, uh, it's going to be a great... We, I was talking with my fiancé today. My fiancé. Yes. You can't say betrothed. You brought, well, you brought... As Kelly's sitting uh, on our... On our our tiny man couches, we we call it here. She loves tiny man couches, this, which is why she's with me. That's why she's with you, right? Yes, okay. I have an ottoman in every room. <laughs> but the, the, I'm the king of the Ottoman Empire. I didn't know that. You oh. said you're a Russian. Now you say you're Turkish. I, you're confusing me. I don't know. I, I, I do like the hookah. 
I like the party. I like the disco. I like the hookah. So you were talking about Kelly. No, I was actually betrothed. talking. Well, I was just, uh, I don't know what I was talking about, but it had to do with, <laughs> I think it had to do with entertaining people right yes, now. And correct. that we were talking about, uh, there should be a calendar <laughs> mm -hmm. of all the news that comes out every day, whether it be a tweet or whether it be the headline, mm -hmm. because you could have that months. And I'm not going to give examples because it's all so painful. But, yes. Uh, everybody accused, and it's not, it's not funny, it's dark comedy. And uh, it's no laughing matter. I know that, I know. Uh, so we wake up to no laughing matter. But we wake up to something where our heart hurts, well, I mean, and all I want to do is have some fun. And I got the feeling I'm not the only one. No, I'm, I'm with you. You know, I'm in a position. That's Cheryl Crow, you know. That, uh, I, I picked it up, man. That was uh, Social Club. You know what's great about you? you? What you is got that? a poker face. No, I don't mean like Lady Gaga. I mean, when I say something <laughs> to you... I, I mean, yeah. you don't respond, and that's no, because your brain is so big and active. I'm listening. And I'm meeting your parents, and they never knew you'd have this much DNA in your skull. I don't think, uh, well, I think it, I owe it all to them. Did you know he was smart when he was very, oh, very young? You're asking a Jewish mother a question was right he, now, Was Bob. he always very, very smart? Did he borrow money? Did, he, did I borrow money, Mom? <laughs> did I borrow money? Yeah, your mom's giving you kind of a half look. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, did I he, did. Did yeah. he make interest? Did he always make money? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Always made money. Yeah. yeah. Your but, parents are very talkative. The, well, <laughs> my parents are also television savvy. They know they're not mic'd up, too. Yes, and they're very, they're very nice. I wish I, had, <laughs> I wish I had my parents. I know you talked about that the last time that you were here. Yeah, about you. and in my new special, and your not book. that I want to promote it, and my book, I yes. talked about my dad a yeah. lot. Yeah, I know. And in my special, Zero to 60, which I don't want to promote too much, but it's available <laughs> everywhere, Amazon and iTunes and every literally yes. every viral platform. Uh, but I talk about my mom, and my mom uh, in it, it gets kind of serious in the middle because she said when she was leaving us that she was going to come back as a dove. And uh, I said, please don't do that. And so I'm scared of doves because you never know if that's your mom well you uh, if you go to a magic act or you go to uh, you see know. right now this is my poker face because i don't know if you're being serious i mean serious it's in the special okay anything completely ludicrous that i tell you is in the special is <laughs> it's in, in the, the special, special. <laughs> but it's, it's an entertainment now i follow you it's an entertainment special is and i think you guys are, i want you and Susie to watch it okay uh well we with, talked with about me, it on our podcast it, with you when you called into our podcast yeah it was really sports. sweet are you guys naked when you do that? We are not. We are fully dressed. <laughs> Onesies? No. No, no. Uh, the way that we act, like right now, the way I'm dressed with You're the sweater. You're just very cushy. I, that is so... When we hugged before, that's exactly what you said to you me. You were so soft. That's not a good thing, though. No, I didn't I mean, mean the be... sweater. <laughs> this is... Let's take a break. We're back in 60 seconds. Uh, I wanted... Did you hear what Mike Leach had to say about uh, matrimony? Did no, you, oh, the, the I coach. did. Okay. I did. He sounded I, great. I, I, <laughs> he, every, I gotta get. I gotta get very the, optimistic. The Bob Saget take on Mike Mike Leach's uh, matrimony. You gotta get a cupcake. You gotta have a cupcake. You gotta have. A, I don't know. Get, the, I don't know. <laughs> it was fantastic. Uh, zero to sixty. Check it out right now. Amazon, iTunes, Directv, other platforms. Uh, we come back with Bob Saget. Get you ready for Thanksgiving weekend when we come back. In just sixty seconds. All right, welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Our friends at Funny or Die have provided us with some uh, some comedy that we're going to give you at the end of the uh, at the end of the show. The the Funny or Die Pitch app has provided us some great lines from some great writers about uh, what some uh, sports stars are thankful for this Thanksgiving holiday. I'm thankful for Bob Saget hanging with me here on the show. And Bob, I love talking about this because again, you're everyone knows you're funny and you can work blue and you work serious as well, but you got a huge heart. Uh, the Sclemer, Scleroderma Research Foundation, which you founded, helped found, uh, or been part of. I, yeah, right. Since the, my friend Sharon Monsky founded it and then I became part of it. And then your my sister, sister got sick after I became part is of that, it. Is that, that I did not know. It was no fortuitous. Kidding. I thought you got involved because of your sister. It's such a rare disease, scleroderma. It or affects a... mostly women in the prime of their lives. And um, there's hundreds of thousands of people with, with the disease. And my sister came down with this disease. We didn't know what it was, but I'd already been doing the benefit for three years. The first person that ever did it was Robin Williams. And Robin did the benefit. And he's a giant loss that we'll always feel. Sure. Uh, he did the benefit seven times, and uh, seven he times. couldn't say no. He'd just show up. What do you need, Chief? Chief, what? What? Whoa! Mm -hmm. Make some money, and we've raised forty-five million dollars in twenty-five uh, years. Your fortieth event is coming up on Tuesday in New York City, and yeah. and the people that show up—it's a testament to how much you are loved and beloved. 
Um, and who 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 shows up here? You got Jeffrey Ross again. I mean, he he's always there. He's for like you. family. He's but like. But I family. remember you had an event recently in Los Angeles. Susie and I came to it. I think it was two or three years ago. You got uh, Kimmel, Conan, uh, Craig Ferguson was on the air at the time as well. Leno showed up. I mean, you got every single those, late night. A, those are two different ones, but but I like oh, the I, combo. The, the well, you got pretty much every active we uh, just, Los Angeles based late night TV host at the last. At your and event. Kimmel has been. Over the top, amazing, and and then the last one in L.A. we raised 1.4 million dollars. That's crazy, and it was with Ray Romano and Jim and uh, Jim Gaffigan and um, Gar- not Jim Gaffigan, Bill Burr, and it's hard to it, so many of my friends. Yeah, and comedians are all stepping up. You know, there 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 are dilemmas in the world right now, and uh, most of the comedians are right on it. Uh, the one in New York that's uh, December 5th, which I'm very proud of. Is um, is going to be Jeff Ross, and it's going to be Michael Che, John Oliver, George Lopez, and Jackson Brown's going to sing. So, and that's for you know, 400 people at Caroline's. We do it every year in New York, and we raised 700 grand there last time. And that money goes right to research to help all these people that have that have not gotten any, that not gotten any. Hi, right. <laughs> Jed Clampett, but right. they but they had no government funding, and uh, so we do it privately, and it it's. Quite um, a miracle that we've raised so much. Yeah, money. I'm reading off the screen: srfccchc.org. Exactly. Srfccchc.org for more information there. Again, if uh, December 5th, Caroline's on Broadway, and you know you, you do that stuff all the time. And now, and congratulations, you are engaged, as we we talked about before. Yes, uh, and she said yes, which is convenient. How did how did you? She pop probably it? wouldn't be here if she How'd said you pop no. The question, Bob. <laughs> how did I pop it? Yeah. Um, well. I, um, is this too? Is this too personal? No, it went all over. It traveled, so I thought it would be boring. But I'll tell you because it's exciting. I mean, it's love. Mm-hmm. It's based on love. In the world we're in right now, if somebody loves somebody, yes, and if a dude is like nice to the his woman, mm-hmm. and the woman <laughs> is nice to the dude, <laughs> I mean, the dude. I know. I know. Jeff Bridges, I believe. I know. Well, we had the dude here. Uh, we had the dude here about a month ago, right? Yeah, yeah man. Here. Yeah, man. We Are you him. kidding? What am I doing here? Because you're Bob freaking Saget, man. Yeah, but I mean Jeff freaking Bridges. I know. So I mean, anyway, how did you pop anyway, the question? Well, we were watching Stranger Things up in Northern California <laughs> <laughs> on an, I get it. I on an it. iPad. True. Uh, okay. True that. Uh huh. And uh, and then um, I took a break and I'd had a ring in the safe. She didn't know it. Okay. And um, I went in and got it, and uh, then I got on one knee and I asked her. And, uh, I, and the, the joke is, it became a joke because mm-hmm. it's so stupid. I was trying to come up with a different way. Mm-hmm. How did you ask Susie? Did you say I want to spend the rest of my life with you? Oh no, it was in uh, Napa, California. Uh, uh, I got um, uh, a um, a gazebo a raised up, so it was a it's a, a a high up gazebo in the bedroom. No, it was in a vineyard. <laughs> in a vineyard, nice. as the sun's going down. Um, and I hid, I hid the uh, the box and a bottle of champagne in the corner of the of the gazebo. Oh, this is nice. And no one else is around. No one else is around. Sun goes down. I proposed to her. I said, "Will you marry me?" And she said, "Yes." And then asked me to do it again because it. She just wasn't. She said, "What's in it for me?" <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's been the next. That's been the next sixteen years. Uh, absolutely, we know. So, this. so mine was mine was in Big Sur, yeah, which is uh, beautiful. Yeah, and um, beautiful. Four days have gone by where we were staying somewhere, and we were about to leave, but I kind of just planned it to do it at the end and surprise her. And I, instead of saying I want to spend the rest of my life with you, yeah. I said, uh, "Would you spend whatever time I have left with me?" <laughs> Is that a true story? That's true. That <laughs> she said it was Is not true. Go- <laughs> it's the worst rule of improv. It's not even. It's not even a yes. <laughs> Except she said yes. She well, said she, she said she would. You stopped Stranger Things to do that, which I. So you raised. And the- we just got back to the Stranger Things two days ago. And we go. caught up. You're back. <laughs> so we we binge watched. To save our relationship. And you've given new meaning to Netflix and chill, I think. You've, it, raised, it, you've yeah. raised that Unless meaning. Unless you're watching Fuller House, but <laughs> it's hard to chill if you're watching me play a 30-year-old character. <laughs> it's so funny. What did you think of Mike Leach's advice, the coach of Washington State? Uh, I understood David's part advice. of it. I yeah. think he uh, there are meds for him. I think. <laughs> <That's> yeah. not- <laughs> I mean, talk What's about- the general theory behind what he's saying? The general theory is that guys need to just stay out of the way when marriage is taking place because there's just it's a no-win situation. Just say yes. Just <laughs> yeah, you ask 
the question to which hopefully she says yes. Yes. And then the rest of the time, it's now on you to just say yes no matter what. But then you so don't what? you lose who you are yes. and, and your masculine. Don't you lose what is the good parts about yeah. being a man? Yeah, br well, in bringing yourself to a relationship. Being, your, being yourself. <laughs> But then we can be so petulant. You, you can, I, you and I probably have a lot in common that way. I know that I can be petulant. Mm -hmm. I can argue over things that are meaningless, and yes. they, then there's no reason for it. Well, uh, I would. She never does that. I would agree with you, but I'm, I'm, I'm perfect, Bob. What can I tell you? What does Susie say? Uh, I'm petulant. <laughs> but Susie, Susie, do you think Susie runs the show? Dude, have you just met her? Hmm. What are you kidding? So, uh, yeah. I think we have similar relationships. <laughs> <laughs> you got <laughs> You've got to eat the cupcake. Oh, I don't even, man. was he British? What's his deal? Where's uh, he from? He is, no, I, I, where, where Leach is from, I think he's from the state of Texas, is where I think uh, Leach is from. But, right. hey, hey, Bob, look, have a great uh, Thanksgiving you. holiday. Have a wonderful holiday. You bet. At Bob Saget on Twitter. Uh, again, check out uh, the new stand up special, relatively new, uh, Zero to 60, Amazon, iTunes, many other platforms here on DirecTV as well. For the TV audience, would you mind uh, turkey bowling with my children who are who have come out here? I want a turkey bowl with your children, but I want to use that's a turkey, not, a, not your children. That's not a metaphor for anything. <laughs> like, it's literally a frozen turkey. And okay. my special is not uh, relatively new; it's new. Well, I mean, hopefully, it, hopefully, it's better than it your just golf game. Drop like my nad. <laughs> <laughs> Bring my children out to hang out with Bob Saget and his... <laughs> that does not sound his, good. And his uh, fictional child, <laughs> Nad Saget. That's next here on the show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.